I'm on a mission to help high flyers just like yourself, who until now have let the fear of public speaking hold them back from making a bigger impact. Join me as I find out the secret source from the world's leading speakers to make your speeches more interesting, enjoyable to give, and impactful for your audience. That's the mission, and this podcast will get you there. My name's Victor Ahipeni, and this is the Public Speaking Secrets Podcast. Speaker Nation, what's happening? Welcome to episode number 11. I'm your host, Victor Ahipeni. Super excited for you to be here and absolutely sorry that I missed last week's episode. I know some of you were messaging me saying, yo, Vic, we haven't seen this week's episode. It's because I have been super busy with some really, really exciting things, but that doesn't mean that I don't love you. I will give you a kind of what I've been up to kind of leads into... Uh, today's episode and it's on testimonies and uh, testimonials and how beneficial they can be for you and your business and you as a speaker and just in general uh, from a whole range of things in regards to social proof. So I want to share with you a little bit about that and how that all came to be is I've just come back from New Zealand being the keynote speaker at a a conference for New Zealand speech teachers. So it was the um, New Zealand Speech Board Association's annual conference, and I was brought in and spoke on a couple of uh, cool of cool topics. One was podcasting, uh, which I've had a lot of success in, and how they could potentially utilise that with their students coming up to kind of vary the way that public speaking is used, as we're in a very technologically based world. And it was really cool conference to be at. My old speech teacher uh, from high school, she was organising it, and uh, yeah, it was great to kind of go full circle back to where it all began. And My second talk was about how to charge what you're worth and how to leverage your time a little better. And I'm probably going to do an episode uh, on that uh, and the basis of what that talk looked like because I think it's really valuable for anybody regardless if you're trying to build a speaking business, if you're trying to build your own business or you're trying to show more value in your workplace. So I won't delve too much into that. But one of the things was is uh, was that I spoke about was how to build your own social proof and credibility and there's a multitude of ways to do it but one of the ways was getting testimonials so if you've had successful clients if you've had students if you've had uh, amazing collaborations with people or you've just been in a situation where you've provided a ton of value then what you've got to do is simple you've got to ask for the testimonial, ask for a person's review. And I have got some amazing ones that I know uh, came genuinely from the heart. I mean, I poured a lot of effort into these talks and I just asked at the end of my talk, uh, is anyone willing to give me a testimonial? And uh, three three of the ladies there all quickly put their hands up. I plugged in my road uh, lapel mic into my phone push play and it, here's the magic to it ask them questions if I was just to give them uh, push play and, and say speak uh, the testimonials would have gone for you know 15 20 seconds instead I asked them three simple questions and uh, you know have now have two minutes of video footage plus from each person that I can then splice up into some uh, some awesome video content and some audio content. So what did I ask them? First I asked them, what did you think of Victor's talk? So I asked it as Victor's talk so that every time they answered, they said, oh, I thought Victor's talk was. And then I said to them, uh, what did you think about Uh, What would you say to any event organizers looking for a speaker? And they went on through there. And then I said, uh, yeah, what would you say to uh, anyone looking to work with Victor? And so I got three answers uh, out of them. And they were really, really compelling. Uh, They were able, you know, my talk was really fresh in the head. I'd spoken on the Monday and the Tuesday. I did this after the Tuesday 
and uh, they were all you know, really keen and willing. And the cool thing was, when you're at a conference or at an event, uh, some of these people, you know, one of them was the the president. I think she was the president of the New Zealand Speech Board of New Zealand. So you know, years and years of experience, rubbing shoulders with the best, and now talking about me in a really awesome light that you know she was more than happy to do and more than happy for me to use and share. So. How do I use it? I can put it into you know, a video with highlights of me speaking and then different people talking fondly of me. I can just use it in Facebook ads to promote. I can use it as Facebook posts or LinkedIn posts. Uh, yeah, I can use it if I'm cold emailing some people and just saying, here's what a few other, here's what some people have also said. I can use it in emails if I'm promoting any products or services uh, to show that I you know, am the real deal because I can talk myself up as much as possible. We all can do that, but it's so much better if somebody else does it for us because people believe other people uh, and it's that no like and trust theory. So that's what I've been up to and I've also uh, been applying to be a speaker at conferences around the world for a really, really large software company that is really cool and I and I love uh, and I find out in uh, next week if I make it to the last stages so put a huge that's when I say I, I haven't been able to put the time aside uh, with everything that's been going on I got from the 400 applicants down to the top 50 then I had to uh, put together a 90-minute presentation and send that away uh, everyone else had about 10 days but I had to go off to a wedding that I was a groomsman at so I couldn't work on it when I was away so it was a few days of uh, hectic work I got back and then I had to prepare to go back over to New Zealand so hopefully I've got some cool news to share uh, if I make it through to the the next 25 then it'll be a, another plane trip uh, to the other side of the world to go and do the final kind of training and culling down if not uh, I learned a pretty cool lesson uh, and and had a pretty cool feeling. It wasn't so much a lesson; it was putting a hundred percent in. And I know I've spoken to a lot of people about this when, since I kind of had the revelation. If I don't get the role, if I don't make it through to the next stage, I'm comfortable with that because it's one of the few times where I've literally left nothing on the table. A lot of the time, we'll put in a good effort but not a great effort, and uh, that that's a cool that's a cool thing which I'm going to really level up with my speaking. I always talk about the eighty twenty rule. I'm I'm really going to start with a lot more things that I do, and you have to weigh up between good is good enough and getting something out there. So a lot of the time with speaking, good is good enough, and it's going to, if, if you've got a good framework, it's going to be better than most. Uh, but uh, there are times where you can be a lot better than good enough, and you can be great. And I think first off, to be able to do that with speaking, you need to have the framework and the confidence and the skills to be able to do well. And then it's those small tweaks that take a lot more effort. But we'll go into all of that hopefully in a bit more depth. I don't want to talk too much about uh, the company or the role or anything like that uh, until I find out next week uh, either way. And I will be bringing you some awesome guests coming up in the next few weeks, which I'm really excited to share with you, as well as uh, some some insight into uh, just me raffling off here um, and it's going to be about that second speech that I gave uh, back in New Zealand about how to charge what you're worth and really value yourself so it's kind of a bit of business slash speaking involved I hope you've all been awesome I'd love to see you in the speaker nation group oh yeah and one more thing jump over to amazon.com com or com au or wherever you get your books from i would love it i would love it over the next few days after this is being launched i am releasing the public speaking secrets book on kindle and then it will soon after that be in hard copy for this kindle version and this is <laughs> I, I kind of forget how much i've i've been cramming in the last few weeks uh this book is 17 years of culmination nearly 18 years of culmination of hard work into public speaking, entrepreneurship, uh, and really honing my craft. And so for anyone looking to not only improve their speaking, but potentially use it to leverage and improve their own career, uh, boost your confidence, eliminate fear, then jump over to Amazon, check out uh, and, and search 
Public Speaking Secrets by Victor Ahipeni. It'll be on sale for 99 cents until the end of the week, and then it'll be going up in price. You'll also be able to check it out at publicspeakingblueprint.com where you can get this and all our previous episodes plus a ton of free training. And you can jump over to the Facebook page and get it there as well. So I really, really, really would love you to get that book uh, for a dollar. The value is immense. As I say, it's 18 years of work. Uh, I will actually be dropping a chapter or two as episodes for this show. So I hope you all enjoy it, love it, eat it up, and have been going out there and dominating your own talks, speaking, and growing your career. Until we speak again, keep doing it how you want to do it and keep living life on your own terms. If you want to fast track your confidence and impact with public speaking, then be sure to jump over to publicspeakingblueprint.com where there's an array of free resources to help you no matter where you are on your journey to becoming a more powerful speaker. And while you're at it, jump over to Facebook and join our free community called Speaker Nation where there's a ton of other like-minded individuals just like yourself looking to level up. Thanks for listening and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode.